Number five, the true meaning of Khatam and Nabiyin. Contrary to the commonly held false interpretation of Khatam being last in time, the true meaning of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, being the Khatam and Nabiyin or seal of the prophets, as per Quran chapter 33, verse 41, is that he is the signet ring of Allah the Exalted. This is the actual meaning of the word seal. In other words, after the coming of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he is the means of spiritual impress upon others, and following him and his law is the only route to spiritual exaltation. However, by definition, a seal or signet ring cannot truly be called as such unless it imprints its form onto others. As such, the words Khatam and Nabiyin, or seal of the prophets, are actually a prophecy that at least one of his followers would become a perfect spiritual reflection of him, having taken on the imprint of his ways of life and his qualities to the extent that that person would be raised to the station of prophethood. This is clarified in the verse of the Quran where Allah the Exalted states, and whoso obeys Allah and this messenger of his shall be among those on whom Allah has bestowed his blessings, namely the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous, and excellent companions are these. Thus, without the coming of an ummati or follower prophet, the meaning of the prophecy contained within the phrase seal of the prophets remains unfulfilled. So the claim of Ahmad peace be upon him to be a follower prophet and to have been raised to the station of prophethood by virtue of total obedience towards and love for the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him is not only consistent with the concept of seal of the prophets, rather it is a remarkable fulfillment of the prophecy contained within the phrase. This is another great proof of the truth of Ahmad peace be upon him.